The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker before applying. Niche Advice Limited is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority. Hi, I'm here from Niche Advice, mortgage brokers. Hope you're well. Um, we're gonna talk about credit reports because we deal with them all the time. Um, and you know, the free credit reports you can get, some of, some of the things that I like about them, some of the things I don't like about them, and which one I think is pretty pretty good. And I'll try to put the links on, on, on all the credit reports that we talk about here. So, when you're going for a mortgage, one of the first things you should look at is getting a credit report, okay? So, because it's really important, you need to know what the status of your credit profile is like. So, don't just guess, oh, I've done everything right. Go and get a report, it's really important. So, when you, when you I suppose when you put a search in Google, um, you'll get the top guys come on. I'm not talking about the advertising, I'm just talking about the general top uh, credit agencies out there. There's a few out there. Um, so, let's talk about it. There is the, the big ones that a lot of the lenders tend to use is Experian. So Experian, you can go to experian.co.uk and I'll put the link to Experian uh, on my, um, in the notes below. Um, Experian's quite good, but I don't like it. And I'll tell you why I don't like Experian reports and reading Experian reports. To me, and this is my own, it's very subjective, it's my own opinion at the end of the day. To me, the credit reports are very, very hard to read, okay? Um, they're not color coordinated often and they're quite difficult for me to understand the, uh, the client's profiles, what they've had, what they haven't had. Um, so it's, it's quite quite hard for me to read. A lot of these credit agencies like Experian have got a free trial and then after a certain amount of time, you just gotta watch out normally after 30 days or a month, they'll start charging you. So be warned, if you're just doing it to um, get a credit report, make sure you cancel it within that first month. Otherwise you'll be charged a fee, a monthly fee until you decide to cancel. The second, and I have to say, Experian, that although I don't personally like them in terms of the way their credit reports work, they are one of the biggest, and I would say out of all the lenders, generally they're the most used by the lenders. So, um, worth, worth looking into. The second one is Equifax. Equifax, another big company, um, uh, they, they gather your data and deal with data. Um, a lot of lenders, again, use Equifax as well, especially in the specialist sector, in the white layer sector. What I would say is I really like the way their credit reports look. Uh, they're quite simple to read. Obviously, they have all the information about yourselves there. There is a difference between what information Experian has or Equifax sometimes. Sometimes the late payments are on different months. Sometimes uh, things are registered and unregistered and satisfied. So it's worth sort of double checking uh, these things. And I will talk to you about a solution uh, later on. But um, generally, I like Equifax. Um, I like the look and feel of it, um, and yes, it, again, they've got a they've got a free, I think, thirty day trial or twenty eight day trial or whatever it is, first month, and then you will have to pay. So watch out again for that monthly fee. Um, there, there is another one out there which uh, I actually subscribe to. I've got that, and that's just because it's free um, and it's free for life. Uh, it used to be called Noddle, and now I think it's called Credit Karma, um, and they've got a credit report there, um, and again. Um, it's 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 available, but unfortunately, um, unfortunately, uh, again, it's uh, a lot of the agencies tend not to use the credit agency used for it, um, and I still don't like the format. It's very similar to the Experian. It's black and white. It doesn't show in red what the problems are. In green, if it's okay. In yellow, if it's missed payments. So it's not very clear. I mean, if it's not clear to me. It's going to be quite difficult to someone who hasn't looked at credit reports in the past. And that's all I'm coming from. I'm coming from a user-friendly perspective, really. Um, but it's free and it's quite good to have. Um, although, you know, um, the reason, at the end of the day, the reason a lot of these credit agencies offer this facility to yourself is because they want to sort of flog your other things, whether it's mortgages or whether it's loans, credit cards and so forth. So what you'll find is, you know, they want you to go on there, visit their site and try to cross-sell you. Uh, essentially and we've seen adverts by people like Experian to say look you know we'll tailor make it because we know we know more information about you um, the one that I like and in fact we've got an affiliate program with uh, which means you know we'll make a little bit of money out of if you do get it but 
I genuinely do like it. It's not because of, you know, we're making money out of it. And you can make your minds up by yourselves, please. Uh, you know, you can go and get the other credit agencies and, and do that. It's check my files. Now, the reason I like check my files is it gathers data from all three agencies. Okay. So, you know, it's one place and you get a multi-agency report. Secondly, it's easy to read. It's color coordinated. So it's easy enough to read. OK, um, and, and and really, I think it's uh, free for the first month or 28 days. And then uh, actually, let's have a look. Uh, I think I've got it here, but it should say it's free uh, for the first. Uh, certainly it's free for the first month or 28 days. But then afterwards, uh, you will have to pay 14.99 a month. So bear that in mind. So you could, in theory, get the report and then cancel it within the first month, week, whatever, first day, next day, and then you won't be charged anything. But afterwards, if you if you run over a month, you'll get charged £14.99. So be warned around that. I really like it. We use it ourselves. We recommend it to our clients. If you came for a mortgage for us, we'll send you a, a, an email to say, look, you know, go and get your credit report from there. Um, we've got an affiliate link with them, like I said, and we've had a long-standing relationship with the company. And I think, you know, generally uh, they do what it says. A um, couple of things to watch out for, and, and these are the pitfalls of the system. When you go in there to get your credit report, they generally just want a credit card details and your name and general details address, and then you, you'll get access to your credit profile. To actually download the report, though, I don't know why, but some cases that we'll see, you actually have to go in, log in. So when you log in, go into your credit report. You have to scroll all the way down on the first page. And then you will see your credit report. It says download your credit report. I'm not sure why they don't have a button up there to say download your credit report. It's it's not rocket science, but just be warned. If you're going to check my files and you can click on the link below, but generally you've got to go in, do what you have to do in terms of putting your credit card details in to verify you. And then once you've gone in to actually download the report, you download the report with, uh, you scroll down and there's a button there. Um, so that's really it. Um, i put all the links to the, to the credit agencies there. Please uh, leave a comment and like, and let me know what your thoughts are around the credit agencies, which one you prefer. You know, you may prefer Experian or Equifax or uh, Car Credit Karma or, or, or any other agencies, ClearScore and various others that are out there. What I would say, there are some credit scores, uh, credit, credit companies that will just give you your credit score. They're no good for us because we're trying to get the full breakdown of what your situation has been over the last six years. And that's what a credit uh, report does. So um, it's important that you get actual full credit profile. OK, um, and not just the credit score. Often I get clients coming to me and say, look, you know, my credit is eight point nine, you know, eight hundred and ninety nine points. And I'm going, well, that doesn't mean anything to me. You know, have you had any late payments, missed payments, default, CCJs, debt management plan, bankruptcies, IVAs? Where are they? Let's have a look at it because your credit report will show a lot of that information. So, um, and, and the more comprehensive uh, the report is, um, the easier it is for us and you. Hence, um, hence I, re I recommend the multi-agency report. It's the only one that I really know of that works and has worked for a number of years for us. That's why we recommend it. Um, uh, and and it seems to be easy for the clients and you get the report and you send it over to us and, and then we'll have a look at it for you. The reason we ask for that and we don't run credit checks ourselves is because when you run your own credit report, um, you're not that, you know, it's not to your detriment of your file. Uh, and that's something else I want to talk about. When you go for mortgages, there are a whole host of lenders that do not have a hard credit search and there are some that do have a hard credit search. What that means is a soft footprint is generally is much better because um, they don't leave a footprint and it shouldn't affect your credit profile. Some lenders do have a hard footprint, which does affect your credit profile. Um, so just be warned around that. I've got a lot more information on the channel about the application process, the mortgage process and so forth. But this is really around credit reports and which one I prefer. Thank you so much for watching. Please click subscribe and like. Thank you so much. Take care.